Hi folks, I hope you're well. My name is Dustin Furlow. I'm here hanging out at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. On my lap I have a 2015 Olsen SJ guitar made with Master Grade Cedar for the soundboard and Master Grade Brazilian for the back and sides. Just a perfect set of Brazilian. Um, this is the type of Brazilian that you would expect to be associated with uh, the Olsen name. Um, I've played quite a few Olsons and this is by far the best one I've ever played. It's just, it's got a lot of that shimmery, juicy, lush quality to it. I know we're st it sounds like I'm talking about food or something, but this is like just a very rich sounding guitar. I mean, it's it's got a lot of complexity to it, but at the same time in all those overtones, there's a lot of clarity and a lot of focus. and. Um, it's really what you'd expect with uh, his reputation and whatnot. So uh, we'll try to keep this quick. I could gush about it for quite a while, so try not to do that. If you're watching this video, then you probably know the quality of guitar that I'm holding anyway. So it's got a ebony bridge with ebony bridge pins, bone saddle. It's got two and a quarter bridge spacing. There is a Brazilian and abalone rosette here, which is just so nice. I just have to say, um, I, as many of you might know, I am not huge on bling. I like a little bit of abalone or ros rosette, and that's about the extent of it. Um, I, I have an appreciation for shell and the beauty, the natural beauty that it offers, but this is visually the nicest Olsen I've ever seen. I really love it because it's got really nice Brazilian rosewood trim, and again, the Brazilian rosewood on the rosette. It's just, you know, visually subdued, but it's, when you look at it up close, it's just very simple. Um, it's very nice. The rosewood, interestingly, on the purfling here, on the inside, it's, the grain line is matching the direction of where it is on the soundboard. And I can only imagine how long that took <laughs> because you know it's not like all the grain is going horizontal or down or following. It's really, depending on where it is in the guitar is where it's pointing. And it's just, it's visually very interesting to look at. I really like that. It's got some nice white purfling, double white purflings here on the fingerboard to give a nice frame to the ebony fingerboard. Um, nice 12 fret inlay. It appears to be like a crown or like a mini fountain or something. Really nice. Um, five piece neck with mahogany, ebony, and figured maple. Really nice. The Headstock veneer is just brilliant. The Brazilian that he chose for that is just, it's just so nice. It's got some Goto 510 tuners with the Olsen logo on them with the ebony knobs to keep the weight down. Eben, ebonoid knobs, I should say, I'm sorry. And it's got that ebony head veneer, nice and classy with the O Olsen logo. My favorite thing about this guitar, tone, looks, everything aside, is the playability. I, I, every Olsen I've played has just a perfect neck profile. It's just a nice medium C shape, but the way that it's contoured, it's, it's hard to explain. When you feel it, you're like, oh wow, that's just, that's perfect. Um, of the four Olsens I've played, they're all like that. Um, it's extremely playable all up and down the neck. Whoever did the setup on this, whether it was Jim or uh, another guitar tech after, it's perfect. This is how I'd want every guitar to be set up. Actually, probably not or I'd go broke. But um, it's just really a joy to play all up and down the neck. Um, inch and three quarter nut too, I think I forgot that part. Um, I'm pretty sure we're dealing with a 25 and a half scale length, right Al? Yeah. And so uh, just a really great guitar. As you might know, the SJ size is about 15.6 wide. So it's right in between an OM and a mini jumbo, 
which is usually 16 inches. So it feels very intimate in the hands, uh, or on the lap, I should say. And just a, it's a brilliant guitar. I don't need to gush about it. You know what I'm holding, so. The, the quality of this guitar is just, it lives up to the reputation. I'm really happy to um, hopefully uh, show that in the sound clips. I really enjoyed them, so I hope you did too. And uh, if there's any, anything I missed or any questions you have about this guitar, uh, you can email alan at cedarrockstudio.com. I hope you enjoy the sound clips and have a great day. Thanks.